啦啦。Ah, so here we go. Look, two grand in the bank. We, that's all we needed. Two grand. From here, it gets a little bit easier because let's do this. We're going to hire two guards, one, two, and we're going to hire two cooks, one, two, and that immediately gives us ten grand because we completed that grant. Now we can. Oh no, look. Oh, need to unlock finance because look we've got a grant here for cell block a that gives us a 20 grand advance and 20 grand when we complete it and that's to raise your prisoner capacity to 15 and I'm technically going to be raising it to a hundred so we're going to do this let's open should we open finance um, let's see here uh, not that one oh we can't because we need a warden Ugh. there's always something isn't there right okay so let's do this administration center let's do this um we, let's uh we could pick up another grant but i think we'll be all right for the minute so let's see we need to build rita was her name was it rita's office there we go and she's going to have a door here because that will eventually be a toilet right um rooms office where are we office um beautiful that's fantastic right okay we want a, a desk give, give me a desk a desk for rita there and we're going to make it so people can sit at her desk and talk to her filing cabinet lovely lovely and then a light um stick that there she's going to see another one we won't worry about the toilet actually for the minute so that will be Rita's office what we can also do while they're building her office is start getting um, some utilities going right um, now for the time being the utility is going to be a bit of a mess we're not going to be able to streamline it for a while um, like say this will be one power unit there'll be a separate power unit for in here there'll be a separate power unit for in here you know eventually we'll, we'll get to all of that but for now it is just going to have to be a little bit messy which honestly i hate but what can you do what can you do you just got to get the job done right just got to get the job done um and the kitchen right now is more important than anywhere else um plus this also helps bring water and power up to here because it's going to be important to get it into there as well so now i'm not going to want to build this over the top this power line of the water pipes um, where possible because we are going to be demolishing them in the future and it's real palaver when you start doing that it's got to be said so here we go so they can start getting the kitchen hooked up really important really important so this oh this office is done here we go so Rita boom warden's office oh what's this look a new polaroid Okay, <laughs> she doesn't look like that, but it's fine. Right, so she's in her office with no toilet. So no, she doesn't need a toilet. I just I do these things because because because. Right, finance. Here we go. So we need to unlock finance. That is important. Oh, look at all these amazing things. Build two offices. So this is going to be another office here. I'm going to use it like her secretary it's like it's like her secretary thing <laughs> so <laughs> that's how i've set it up so we're going to like this and objects more doors one there one there like this and um a couple of filing cabinets and this will be the finance um office um which is this big enough i hope so <laughs> Have I planned this right? I hope so. Yes. Good. Thank Christ for that. So. Oh, light. Not that we're using lights at the moment. Lights are for pussies. <laughs> Should be perfectly happy working in the dark. The computers don't work or anything. It's fine. <laughs> they don't seem to mind. Not at the moment, anyway. Let's plop that there as well. Um, this will be the lawyer's office eventually. Um, there's another toilet here for 
just looks and this will be a big filing cabinet room again just for appearances <laughs> just for appearances <laughs> right so look can, what can we do anything oh regime now the regime um we need to think about this seven hours is that really, do they need that much sleep do they need that much sleep i don't know i don't know I don't know. So eating. I think eating should always be a two hour gap. That works well. It's quite late to eat, isn't it? We'll have to see how eating works. We'll probably be a bit fiddling with this. Always have your time before eating for the simple reason that, um, um, it helps gather all the prisoners together and if you put your yard in front of your canteen then it just means that all the prisoners arrive on time to eat and it just means that they're more likely to all be fed in that two hour slot so yard time just before they go in and eat is actually a really good idea you don't really want much free time the problem with free time is that um this is when bad habits are formed this is when your alcoholics will get their alcohol and booze and when your drug addicts will get their drugs and and get off their nut so you know you've got to be careful uh, bad habits form during uh, free time so what we're going to do for now is we're going to increase yard time because that's really good for exercise and stuff even though i have no exercise machines there and there's nothing in the yard at all maybe we should put a couple of bits in there maybe some phones might be a good idea actually a couple of phones couple of benches and uh, some weight lifts lifting weight thingy magics um now it feels silly that we have to tell them to shower but we will we will tell them to shower we'll see how that works out um there is no work time at the moment is there really uh because i don't have prison labor so it might be that for now <laughs> it's all yard time enjoy that <laughs> because if i make this free time they'll all turn to drugs and alcohol and a lot of them are prone to do it anyway without, without encouraging it jeez splendid here we go so she's done her research accountant <gasps> there's our our accountant fantastic will be unlocked let's go to grants oh wow look at all this stuff visitation no that's valuation <laughs> so hang on that's value right finance boring programs uh, all still locked right here we go look cell block a i'll take that boom look all that money it's insane we can take another one prison maintenance Unlock maintenance, cleaning grounds, foreman's. That sounds very good to me. Keeping the place clean. Might do that though after we've got some prisoners in, eh? We could still do that. We'll still, <laughs> still get the money in. Still get the money in. I want to do this um, for logistics. The reason being, right, is we've got the big fence around here um and then we've got this small fenced area for our inmates to be in and you think what is the point of this well <laughs> there's not masses of it but it is an extra barrier given how poor this prison is at the moment it is an extra barrier plus it also stops narcotics being thrown over the fence and from these guys being able to get to those narcotics because narcotics can be thrown out, out o over the fence pretty far i think um somewhere around here you know it, it can be thrown pretty far so but i don't think it'll go that far i mean olympic thrower if they can get it that far i would say um so it helps prevent them getting hold of uh, narcotics in this area it also means that should they tunnel out through their toilet or something um there is some form of barrier ahead of them the the weakest point being here right so we've got to we really got to keep an eye on them in here uh while this is such a weak barrier um in addition 
I want to be able to say no prisoners in this area, only in this area. And for that I need logistics, I believe. Is it logistics or is it deployment? No, because that's assign staff to certain areas. Assign prisoners to work around your prison over the counter and laundry. Um, but I think I think logistics is part of it, isn't it? Controlling who can go where. And I don't want prisoners just wandering around this area. And at the moment, I think they might. Or does that? Or does this staff door stop them? I'm honestly not sure. Maybe we should just give it a go and see what happens. Should we, should we just do that? And then we can always make it high priority to, to get that sorted out right. Um, if they start wandering around here like idiots. What we're going to do with prisoner intake, we're probably going to um, intake. We want medium security. I'm not ready for maximum. That's just asking for trouble. But we get more money with medium than if we go for minimum. And medium... Um, I'm not that much more difficult than minimum, to be honest. Um, we will be getting a minimum because I want a bit of everything. Um, don't we all? So, we're going to take on four a day for a while. Four a day. And that's like two grand a day coming in on the intake. Now, what we could also do is get... We could get Nancy in. This is my name in the game. Is it extras? Yeah. Look, should we find Nancy? There she is. Transfer. I want her. This is this is my name in the game, not it's not my real name, as I've mentioned before. It is just a character. But there we go. It's uh, my alter ego, Naughty Nancy. If you have a name in the game, a female name in the game, let me know, and I can add them. Um, or being that the larger viewership of my videos is male and I haven't built a male prison I do apologize if you have a name in the game and we won't be able to move it in because it's male but have a look through the the female name in the games um because you can select women and you can just look at them all and if there's any there that you quite like again just let me know and we can um ship them in and um you can let me know through Twitter or the Steam group or my Reddit page, uh, the comments in this video. Let me know the name of the character and I will transfer them in and uh, we can uh, check them out. I'm looking forward to policy because um, I do like locking people up. I mean, we don't have solitary at the moment. I do enjoy a bit of solitary. Um, we'll, for now, it'll just have to be locked down. Um, Lock it, locked locked in their room um, another thing that I quite like which I think gets unlocked um, somewhere through legal oh, it's permanent punishment there it is permanent punishments I love that just leave them in solitary forever until they're released love it I do I do enjoy that sort of stuff right because uh, they you know sometimes they're just very very naughty aren't they very very naughty indeed we could probably put some lights in here because where's the utility yeah look should put some lights in here. That might be nice. <laughs> Maybe actually, because we've got events on, we should also put in some sprinklers. Because if I've learned anything about this game, it just loves to set off fires in the kitchen. I mean, it, I mean, I'm not kidding. It's like its favourite pastime. So let's stick some lights. Just hickledy pickledy just to light up this area for now as you can see it's going to expand and grow and then we'll do a lovely light setup <gasps> a note page way laundry thoughts woohoo god we're collecting these well aren't we loving it loving it we could run this power down here Um, the water eventually what we'll be doing got to be careful with these large pipes because they can tunnel through those can't they right so eventually what we'll be doing is uh, controlling power and electric to certain buildings and facilities so this will be like an office and in here we will be able to turn water and power on and off from here to the whole block um stuff like that so but for now we'll just get it hooked up this is my 
maintenance offices, right? We have in here, this will be an office for the chief and the foreman. Um, I'm not really ready, but I think we're going to have to stick it in so that we can get the foreman in so that we can, because we need janitors and gardeners quickly um, because the state of this place. So again, it's going to be brick. Let's do this. So it's just, it's got to be done. We can't keep putting all this stuff off. We've, we have got money. So let's pop that in. Uh, objects. Staffed all. Boom. We'll let them get on with that. While we're waiting for our prisoners to arrive. Lovely. They've left some steel there. Right. So we want to put... Um, some walls in. You can see I've put another toilet in. <laughs> so now let's objects door, 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 and door. Now light, light, and a light. Doesn't matter which office I think they go in. I really don't think it matters. They're pretty much the same. So, um, what am I looking for? Office. There it is. Plot that in there. Objects. It, uh, why is that staggered like? What's that about? Oh, I know. I've done it this way, haven't I? Okay. There we go. I mean, put the light on. There's no power, but we put the light on. <laughs> Enjoy that. So, foreman. You will have an office very shortly, Foreman. It's coming, it's coming. And we can get some janitors and gardeners. Oh, wow. That'd be great. That would be great. Um, we need cleaning and grounds. Okay, so cleaning and grounds. Wow, that was expensive. But that's fine. So he requires an office, but as soon as he's in his office, he will start researching, cleaning, um, you know, <laughs> thinking about... What is it that we need to do in order to keep this prison clean? Oh yes, hire janitors and why is the grass getting long? Better get some gardeners. That's, so that's what he's going to be doing for the next couple of days probably. <laughs> I mean, look at this! Who would want to eat food from this kitchen? It's disgusting. <laughs> it's disgusting. Um, there we are. Anyway. We'll wait for our, our prisoners to show up, which is going to be in just under nine hours. Nancy Phillips will be joining them. Very excited about that. Very excited about that. <gasps> Prisoner intake. Two grand. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, look. <gasps> there she is. Oh, it's so exciting. They look identical. <laughs> this is the first female prison I've ever um, made as well, by the way. Um... So it's quite exciting for me because I've, I've never done it before. Um, and it's just that I wanted to give it a go because I want to try a bit of everything. And um, like the female prisons, they have like new rooms, don't they? You know, they've got the nursery and the family cell and that. And I don't know. I, I just wanted to check it out. Here we go. There's Nancy. Look, it's, it's my name in the game. How exciting. So let's get them all to... They're all going to be taken to reception. Oh, look, they're their clean uniforms come on then speed this up let's take a look at them see who we have get them processed hello nancy oh, there you go stand on the table so you see immediately it says we're going to search we're going to search them and they'll be stripped as well so, ooh, Nancy's family, an ex-husband of 33, a daughter of eight, a son of nine, and a father of 67. So I suppose um, these are the people that are most likely to come and visit her when she's in jail, I guess. Um, violent disorder, four years. Hey. She did plead guilty. Violent disorder. Character, no reputation. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> 
That's don't look at that, people. Don't look at that. So okay, all right. She's pretty healthy. <gasps> She had weaponry on her. Let's look at this lady. Assault. One year. Pled guilty. And see, she had a weapon on her. Wow. So now they stand together, <laughs> naked, in a dirty, dirty room. Oh, look. It's another one. Look at the state of this place with these dirty footprints. Another one to uh, strip search. When Willow was unable to make a payment on a loan of questionable origin, she was told she could take on criminal assignments to, play, to pay off her debts. Mm, Willow came to enjoy the work and earned a reputation of leaving her victims in tears. Oh, Sentenced to 11 years for trafficking. Wow. So she's in... She's due to stay here the longest at the moment, I think, isn't she? Reoffending chance is pretty low. And again, nice and healthy. And then Ghoul is the last one. So Nancy is now in the holding cell. And she wants out. She's going to the yard. She's off to the yard. I think, isn't she? This is a problem. They are allowed to freely roam all the way around this. Just to be sure. This is all yeah, <laughs> all secure, right? don't like this. I don't like it. Just, just off she trots. Ah, right. Here's our new one. Oh, no biography for this one. Kenzie sentenced to 18 years for aggravated burglary. Okay, so pled not guilty. She is our worst at the moment. Our longest. Oh, look. And her free offending rate. Pretty high. Yeah, it was like... And the grading nice and healthy. Right, okay. So basically what's happening is they're slowly being processed. They're being put in the holding cell and then they're just leaving again because yard time. Yard time. Oh, look. Notebook. Construction. How construction would work. So now we were going to do a few bits in the in the um, yard, weren't we? So let's do that. Let's give them um, some phones. Um, let's put a bench down. They do like benches in the yard. I've, uh, I've noticed a couple of benches and they're only cheap, right? Um, and some weights. Yes, that would be good. There we go. You alright there, Nancy? Hey? You alright? Looking pretty bored. Can't see their needs at the moment. Um, I want needs. What do we need? A psychologist. Need a psychologist for that. Right, uh, you need to research prison policy. Prison policy, okay. Oh, hire a gardener and let's that prison maintenance done. Should we do that? Um, gardener, boom, there we go. Ah, lovely. Are we cooking meals or anything? Oh, that doesn't have water. Oh, there's an oversight. Should we just put that in there like that? That's no good. Look, they have to go through the staff area. <laughs> right. Beautifully planned. <laughs> Beautifully planned. <laughs>